It's my privilege to accompany George on some of his visits to farms and estates in his work as a professional mole catcher. So George, this, this is what it's all about. Yes. I believe that began in childhood days. Yes, when I was about nine or ten years old, I was taught at primary school by the head teacher. Mr. Teddy Clements, he would say, anyone want to learn how to catch a mole, get permission to stay behind school in the evening and we'll do it tomorrow night. I'm now going to show how a professional mole catcher works. And I'll start off with the, with the traps. This is one type that um, is on the market and this is actually the best so I'll start with the best first. Now that's how it, you set it. The mole goes through there and touches that and is killed instantly up in there. If another one comes that way he also gets killed so you've got to show you how you put a trap in here, a couple. Probably, I can probably get one in there. I'm looking at where to put one. The first thing the mole catch you do in the morning, when he gets to start out, is go to a clean heap and dirty your hands up. No rubber gloves, no gloves of any kind, nothing. Dirty your hands up because he, with a sweat, they, they can smell anything. Well, I'll just open this up and see whether I, I'm right there to get that in. That's it. That's the place. So there, you know, then there's no need to cut the bit out with the barrel traps. You can probably lift that up with this and put that on the top like that so you don't do as much damage as he is. I mean the mole is making a right mess. So therefore you open it like that, you get your barrel trap and you set the traps according to the depth. Now your depth, this is ideal for both. You would just about set the Talpex one in here or the barrel one. Now there's no not much difference. The only difference is the you clear out the soil with your hands, put your fingers like that, that way and that way, and pat it down. Make it so that's almost his still his run. And you get your trap, you set it like that. That has been adjusted recently because I keep adjusting when I get a wet day or something like that. I want to know that they will work. So that's it, you put that in there. You want to be bang on thing. You can always pull a little bit more up here so it fits like a glove. I'm a bit, about a half inch out there because that is catching the side there. But that has now gone in and you put it down like that. That wants to be lined up there with the top of his run and there. Then, after that, there's not much you need to do. I get my spade and take off surplus of this soil so that that will go down there lightly. Now, you don't need to stamp that or anything, but you must put soil on it to stop the sound because he, he goes by sound, particularly at night when it's quiet. He can be coming along there, he can hear your sheep out there Anybody walking about your traffic probably on the A14, which is sound right if the wind is in that direction. So if you don't do enough to cover that up, you won't get your mole. So if you want to see if George catches a mole and what other traps he uses, then you need to purchase this 75 minute DVD at sovereign-videos.co.uk.